I'm Jeanette Keynes of Jewelry Arts Inc. And this video is how to make a bezel ring five. We are going to concentrate on adding the solder between the bezels because that's what gives the ring its strength. We're ready to start adding solder in between. We've got a bunch of fat balls of medium sitting over here ready to go. It's nothing more irritating than soldering a bunch of things and like cutting one piece at a time, make me mental. So when we do this, we're gonna put solder on one side of the, of this, you know, of the bezels right here, and then we're heat from, from the other side. Now, because I like to keep the tweezers in my right hand, I'm gonna hold the torch in my left hand and use this over here, you know, but you can switch it up whatever you're comfortable with. You know, just make sure you got a little, a little paste flux. Yeah, yeah, you just want to make sure that there's flux in the, You always want to make sure there's flux where you want the solder to go. Very important. Or else it, it won't want to go there, in other words. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, mm. And I'm not necessarily going to clamp it, but I might just sort of position this against it just so that if I poke it, it doesn't, it. you know, it doesn't, yeah, you know, so it doesn't roll away. Okay. So I'm just gonna, you know, like poke it back in place right up against the bezels because if it's touching both sides of the bezel and it gets good and hot, you know what I mean? It just draws it right in there. Capillary action at its finest. Oh, okay. So we'll probably add another piece. Gonna, okay. Because here's the thing, it sometimes, yeah, it, it flowed really well, a little too well. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Because it traveled a little too far. You want to try to pull away as fast as possible, but that went really fast, which was beautiful. But um, so we'll add a little bit. So more. it ended up a little too much in, in, in the front. Anything right. over here is going to get trimmed away. It's this connection in between. Mm -hmm. So you see how there is a connection in between, but we want a little more than that. Okay. okay? Most of the time, this will take one, maybe two pieces. You just have to kind of keep keep shoving it in there until it's filled to the right height. Um, and so we make it, we make that decision on a bezel by bezel basis. It did go fast. Not today. Come on, you. Quit it. And you notice, because I use paste, but it didn't really get that dirty, so I'm not gonna bother to pick a in between. Just go ahead and add it a little bit of fresh flux and... I'm trying to do it a little more slowly, which is not really a good thing when you're talking about solder. <laughs> Let's look from the side. Yeah, I think we want one more piece. Alexa, if you don't mind, come over and take a look. It doesn't look bad at all, but I think we need a little bit more in there. On the side. That same thing. Oh, the same thing. So, you don't put the solder more in the middle. Like, in other words, you keep putting the solder in that same place. You don't move it to the middle. Well, more closer to where you want it to be? You can. If we were going to put the little ball of solder directly in the middle, which sometimes when you want to fill one little spot, you will do that. But the, the piece of solder would probably need to be a little bit smaller. Okay. We did bigger ones, which is good from the side. But if it's too big and you put it right in the center and it fills that space completely, yeah. that's not good. We won't be able to set the stone. You know what I'm saying? Like if the solder so really, really fill, fills it in completely. Right. So that's what we're trying to do is fill it in about a third of the way up Probably where you balance. still have some bezel to be able to set. Okay. Now, if I felt like I needed to add the solder from the other side, I could, but I like to put my solder in the same place over and over again because I don't like to fucking clean up lots and lots of solder seams. Okay. So if I feel like I need to, I will, but I'm not gonna do it just to like make a mess everywhere. Thank you. 
dab in there. You see, I just had my tweezers really like Super ready to poke. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. So do that uh, 12 more times. <laughs> but like I said, it's really like you put one in, sometimes you put one in and it, just and it fills. Yeah. Depends on how tight the bezels are with each other, blah, blah, blah. So you just like each one, you keep adding until you're satisfied. You know, and then we'll pickle, we'll go through, double check everything. Okay. But I mean, it's no big deal. You can always just add another piece of solder. Okay. All right.